Hi guys, Karen Proctor here from Powerhouse Leadership Institute with another segment of Ask the Apostle. And so today's question is, how do you know someone really loves you and they are really sent from God? Well, that's a two-part question. Number one, how do you know someone really loves you? Number two, how do you know that that person is sent by God? And so when I got this question in the form of a text, I uh, text the person back because I needed to know a little bit more clarity on what they meant about how do you know a person love you? I wanted to know if this was an intimate relationship between a husband and a wife, between a boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, was it about coworkers? Was it uh, in Christian love, another saint? Was it mother, father? Uh, was it a sibling? So I wanted to know that so that I can be better able to answer the question. And it was given back to me any relationship. So this question is a general question in any relationship. So I'm going to do my best to answer the question and just ask that person, text that question to me. I know that many of my viewers may have the same question. So here we go. How do you know if someone loves you? That's the first part I want to answer. And as I begin to think about this, we all pretty much know when someone loves us because love is an action word. Love brings good energy, good vibration. Uh, even when it's time to correct, you're going to feel it in a good way and not in a negative way because Jesus said, the word of God says, that the Lord uh, chastised those that he loved. And so even in a general sense of the matter, even when it's two friends, you gotta know when someone is giving you constructive criticism. You gotta know when they're telling you something for your own good because correction means that uh, you are loved because if you're not loved, the person is going to, would just allow you to drown. Uh, allow you to to drown in whatever it is you are doing and it doesn't really mean anything to them and so sometimes when we are being corrected we get offended because we think that the person don't love us so love is not just a mushy feeling love is not just a mushy feeling and so another thing that I thought about uh, love will build you up and not tear you down yes love builds up and not tear down. The only time that you will see love tearing down is when there is something that's negative, something that's going to hurt you, a uh, harm is coming your way. Then you will see the person uh, advising you to go the other way, to don't do this or don't do that and to help you bring down those, those walls uh, that's not good for you, that's not conducive to your well-being. Other than that, love builds and not tear down. And love motivates, love encourage. Love will motivate you to get up off of the seat of do nothing and do something. Love would encourage you in your walk. Uh, if you're trying to uh, reach a goal, if you're trying to uh, do something that's positive, and you know that person love you because they're motivating you, they're uh, encouraging you, they will be one of your greatest cheerleaders telling you to go on. Love does not compete, love completes. Love does not compete, love completes. So when you're on the same team, uh, loving the same love team, you're not going to compete with someone that's your good friend. You're not going to compete with your mother, a mother-daughter relationship. You're not going to compete with your father, son. No, you're not going to try to do better than them uh, in a sibling relationship. You're not going to try to compete with your siblings. If anything, you're going to try to uh, uh, complete them where they lack you'll try to bridge the gap uh, uh, where they're lacking in anything. 
uh, and they're your blind side, where, where you are blindsided, they love you so much, they're going to tell you to be careful, go over, come over here, don't do this. That's what love does. Love does not uh, compete, but love complete. Love will complete you, not compete with you. And I begin to think on uh, the word of God. What does the scripture has to say about love? And I got several that I want to share with you. You can take these very scriptures and begin to meditate on them. And as it pertain, pertains to a friend, Proverbs 17 and 17 says that a friend love at all times, a friend love at all times. So if this is your friend, they're going to love you through your good. They're going to love you through your bad. They're going to love you whether you have. They're going to love you if you don't have uh, a friend love at all times, even if you fall that friend love you. They're not going to sit there and talk about you like uh, people that are not your friends. If anything, they're going to have your back. They're going to push people off of you. They're going to uh, throw water on the fire that came from you for you. They're going to try to uh, simmer the fire that's going on. Why? Because a friend love at all time. Proverbs 17 and 17. And then we have 1 Peter chapter 4 and 8. It's a love have, uh, love is very fervent. Uh, love hides a multitude of fault. Love hides a multitude of fault. So even when I'm wrong, even when my good friend knows that I have uh, something wrong in my life, that I slip, that I, uh, I fail, uh, they're going to hide that. They're not going to expose my wrongdoing. They may tell me about my wrongdoing behind, uh, behind the curtains. But they're not going to just put me on blast in front of everybody else. That's just like a mother and a father with their children. They know that their child is wrong. It's not that you are upholding what your child or what your children may be doing. But love hides a multitude of fault. You may correct your child behind the scene. But you're not going to throw your child out to the wolves. Because why? Love hides a multitude of fault. It's not to say that every Everything that I've done, everything that I'm doing is absolutely correct. It doesn't mean that everything that you have did or said is absolutely correct. Come on. But because that friend loves you, because that person loves you so much, because your sister or your brother loves you so much, they're not going to expose you like that. No, they're going to cover you up while they rebuke you behind the scene why they tell you about yourself behind the scene but they're not going to uh, gossip about you behind your back they're not going to stand by and see other people uh, criticize you in a negative way they're not going to see people scorn you and not uh, cover you so yes first Peter 4 and 4 say love hides a multitude of fault and so i want to uh talk about love a little bit more and this is really how you know someone love you because they don't compete with you they complete with you they uh they they uh hide the faults that you may have yet and still they're counseling with you behind the scene and they love you at all times even in the good times even in the bad time. So this is what 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says about love. It says charity, but we know that charity means love. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envy it not. Charity vaunted not itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly. Seek it not her own, is not easily provoked. Think it no evil, rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear it all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. Charity never fail, love will never ever fail. But whether they be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, it shall vanish. So I read over a little bit what I wanted to read but you got the gist of it love uh, 
it suffers long so it'll go with you through the long course of it until you get yourself together um uh, it just love when somebody love you they don't just throw in the tower because love suffered long it does not run itself up it does not push itself up sometimes love it a you know you put yourself behind to push somebody else uh to the forefront uh it says not puffed up it does not behave itself unseemly so these are some of the things when you see a person uh have these attributes and behave in this kind of way you towards you you know that they really really love you and something is coming to my mind what my mother used to say growing up that woman was a woman of wisdom god rest her soul one of the things that she told me growing up she said teeth and tongue fall out it's an old proverb but you'll get the understanding teeth and tongue fall out but at night they meet back up ask my mom mom what what are you saying i was but a teenager when she told me this this proverb she said don't your teeth sometimes bite your tongue before you know it you mistakenly bite down on your tongue but you're not going to throw your tongue away because the teeth bit it the tongue is not going to stop cooperating with the teeth because the teeth bit it so you have problems sometimes you may have disagreements sometimes you may have misunderstanding at times because we're only human so in relationships no matter what relationship it is whether it's platonic whether it's eros whether it's philos no matter what type of love relationship it is sometimes they're going to be misunderstanding but if you love a person you will work it out you will forgive that person if that person truly love you and is truly your friend they will forgive you they will work it out jesus said i don't know if i i said this already but the word of god says one person asked the lord says in this parable how many times shall i forgive my brother he says 70 times seven that means you got to forgive all day long love is forgiving love is forgiving we are only human sometimes we say things and do things to people that we are not even aware of and then on the other hand we do things and say things to people sometimes we mean to do what we say uh what we did or what we say sometimes yes if the truth be told but when you think about it your conscience go to bothering you if the love of god abiding you uh your conscience is going to begin to deal with you so you're going to go back and ask that person to forgive you what you did what you said what you did not do what you should have said when you should have stood up and you didn't stand up and take a stand and your conscience go to bothering you you're going to go back and make right wrong and i want to give you uh another scripture to do with love john chapter 13 this this is the the writing of jesus he told his uh, disciples, he, say, he says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Love one another as I have loved you. Mm. Jesus took the fall for us. He laid down his life for us. He gave up everything for us. Amen. So he tell his disciples, he say, love one another as I have loved you. And then he reiterate that point. He said that ye also love one another. He said it again. As love one another as I have loved you. And ye also love one another. So that's a whole bunch of love. So Jesus reiterated that point to his disciples again. Meaning that we have to love, we have to love, we have to love. We have to have a walk of love. And you know, sometimes you hear people say, you, got, you, you just have to love the hell out of some people. Some people have a whole bunch of hell in them. Come on. But you got to love it right out of them. When, once you start showing them love, love 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 then you're going to see all that anger bitterness resentfulness jealousy spite uh gossiping 
backbiting. You're going to see all of that begin to diminish out of their life. Why? Because of your love walk. And so now I want to go to part two of the question. How do you know this person was sent from God? How do you know this person was sent from God? So I want to answer that by Proverbs chapter 20. 7 and verse 17. How do you know that person is sent by God? Uh, first of all, let me say this. If it's a sibling relationship, you know, the Bible say that a brother is born for adversity. A brother is born for adversity. And not only your bl blood siblings, but even brothers and sisters in Christ. The Bible say a brother is born for adversity. So when you are going through some hardship in life, you know that person really loves you. You know that's a true sister or brother because they're going to be there with you to help you work that problem out, to come up with a solution. And uh, even mother and a child relationship father and child relationship a good friend relationship god connects us together in such a way you can feel <coughs> when you have the love of god in you you can sense how god connects you in a relationship some people say god put you together for a reason god put you together for only a season and that may have some truth to it some people come in your life for a season but some people are in your life for a lifetime and you know these lifetime people because even when you're going through adversity they're there uh when you're going through i just said that love covers a multitude of fault and even if you haven't seen each other and talked to each other in months some people think that uh because somebody don't pick up the phone and call them every day that they don't love you no we all have lives but that person would always get in contact with you three months, six months. And when you pick up, it's like you never, ever been apart. That's one of the ways that you can know that God set this relationship. But I want to close it with this. Proverbs chapter 27 and 17. I said earlier that love completes you. Love would never, ever compete with you. Love doesn't compete with you. Love completes you. So I want to sum it up with Proverbs uh, chapter 27 and verse 17. Iron sharpen iron. So a man, a man sharpen the continent of his friend. There you know that God has sent that person to you because they're sharpening you and you are sharpening them. You, Their life is all the more better because of you in some kind of way. And your life is all the more better because of them in some kind of way. Iron sharpen iron, but man sharpen the continents of his friend. That's when you know that God has sent this person to you. So I hope that I have answered your question on uh, how do we know that people love us. And I want to... Uh, just let my viewers know that on this segment of Ask the Apostle, this is going to be a weekly segment where I would answer the questions uh, weekly and I will upload them every Monday. So you can check back to this page regularly every Monday. Better yet, why don't you just go ahead and subscribe subscribe to the page why don't you just go ahead and subscribe to the page hit the notification button that way when the uh, segment is on you would receive the notification and if you do like this segment of ask the apostle why don't you share the broadcast with your friends like comment and share until the next time god bless you beloved